Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we want to talk about the unique engine. This engine configuration is a 4-stroke engine combined with a high-speed 2-stroke engine. 2-stroke engine, as we all know, this engine produces power so fast. The reason because every rotation of the crankshaft, it will make power. But because of the concept, an engine like this doesn't have a valve. So in the scavenging process, there will be a lot of wasted fuel and exhaust gas. And this is what caused the engineers to give up on developing this fierce engine. Of course, none other than the World Euro regulation is always in charge of protecting the environment by forbidding excessive pollution. Well, that's for two strokes. Now, what about four-stroke engines? Four-stroke certainly comes as a complement to the two-stroke engine. Mainly comes with a different system that is none other than the valve system. But because each step has only one process, the energy must also be cut to produce a more regular, coordinated, and directed combustion cycle. The main advantage is that it is much more environmentally friendly. Each step of this four-stroke engine consists of intake, compression, expansion, and finally, the exhaust process. We may not explain them individually because we believe friends who watch this video understand the four-stroke engine cycle very well, right? If not, you can also watch our old video about four-stroke engines. We'll put the link in the description column below. So from our previous explanation, we can draw conclusions. If a two-stroke engine is superior when it comes to speed to produce power, while the four-stroke engine is more efficient and also environmentally friendly. But, of course, it's a bit smaller when we talk about horsepower. So the question is, do you think it's possible to combine these two advantages and that they can cover each other's shortcomings? Now, this question is what made the engineers think hard and finally gave birth to the concept of the D-Cycle engine. To be precise, from the company Yan's engine. But this is like the name. It's just a concept, and hasn't been realized until now. Namely, a four-stroke engine combined with a two-stroke engine mechanism. As we can see, the parts and components used in this engine look very complex, even more complicated than a four-stroke engine. We haven't discussed the working system yet. Because of the concept and the parts, we can see a significant weakness too. That is the scariest weakness for all investors. Nothing else, that is costs for production, assembly, and R&D. But, it's not good to judge a work as terrible or failed. Without a more detailed explanation, right? So, now let's just go in and discuss the working system. Now we will discuss the parts first, so that it will be easier to understand. The first part is a pedestal that is a crankshaft, just like the components in the engine in general. Then the second, there is the main connecting rod which has two branches. Then there is a unique piston with a hole on its surface. More or less, these are the parts that are somewhat identical to the standard four-stroke engine. And now, we turn to the external parts as an additional part of the four-stroke engine. The first is the D-cycle camshaft to move the arm connecting rod. There's also an external connecting rod and also a crown piston. These two devices are connected to the timing gear with a rotation ratio of 1 to 1. And one again, there is a spring, which serves to pull the connecting rod arm to its original position. Now continue to the valve section. There is a valve like a four-stroke engine. And that's it for the parts. Now let's move on to the working system. The working system is unique because it is different from two and four strokes. As we can see, for the power process to occur as much as 120 degrees crankshaft. After that, it continued with the exhaust process, which occurred suddenly. Because of the push from the D-cycle crankshaft, as much as 80 degrees crankshaft, then intake as much as 65 degrees crankshaft and compression as much as 95 degrees crankshaft until it reaches a point of 360 degrees, and the power cycle repeats itself. So that's it for the working system of the D-Cycle engine. A concept combination of four-stroke engine with a fast cycle two-stroke. But well, as you can judge for yourself due to its high complexity, from the configuration of this engine and the many components used, it's definitely not just complicated, but it also makes the weight of this machine increase. If we flash back a little, the D-cycle has a spring to restore the position of the connecting rod. This will definitely result in a lack of efficiency in each power cycle. And lastly, because this system uses a spring in the valve, this engine can also be classified as prone to valve floating. Of course, this will be fatal because it will cause a collision between the piston and the crown. 
Furthermore, the increase in frictional force in each power cycle will cause damage or wear faster, which means the durability of this engine must also be questioned. And if we try to imagine and assume that this engine can produce high torque and horsepower compared to these shortcomings, it seems that the energy generated will be used a lot to move all the existing components before it can reach the wheels of the vehicle. This means it can be said that the thermal efficiency will be very low. But even so, that doesn't mean this engine is terrible. Maybe this engine can also function under certain conditions. We don't know. But beyond that, we deserve to appreciate the work of the engineers who have made the concept of this engine. And maybe in the future, it will be further developed. And hopefully, this engine can still be developed in a better direction. Okay, maybe that's all the information we can provide in this video. As usual, don't hesitate to share your opinions and criticisms in the comments column below. I'm Carrier, see you in the following video, and thanks for watching.